So this is a team building example from our guy Living Ichigo. If you guys don't know about Living Ichigo, go check out his old Dokkan content. I think that he has some very goaded old Dokkan content. I've been actually watching a little bit recently to get like a good grasp on what people were doing in terms of team builds back then for those monotype leads. And of course, Living Ichigo, D Free, Rhyme Style, The Truth, so on and so forth. I mean, although I mean The Truth did do videos during the the god leader metas but still the fact of the matter is is that shout out to living ichigo and to all the people that made old dokkan content because without you guys my videos research would not be <laughs> that great to be honest i wouldn't have very shitty research and i wouldn't know half the things i'm talking about if it weren't for people like him so shout out to living ichigo i'm gonna source this video down below and funny enough inside my which god leader was the best one I think that I completely forgot to source all the videos below, so I just went ahead and pinned like a comment below saying that I forgot and I just shouted all of them out anyways. Now, the video today is about the physical legendary Super Saiyan Broly, and I think that this Broly was actually quite good. The only thing is, is that physical back then, back in 2016, this guy came out in when in 2016? July of 2016, physical is not really the craziest like if you take a look at the team we got here i'm pretty sure bardock is a support type unit i'm not gonna go ahead and check like what all these guys do but this team doesn't look all the craziest is it like physical full power frieza who's your hardest hitter on the team probably i mean maybe have i spoken about that guy i don't even remember if i have but let's go ahead and skip on over to attack stat right quick. I want to see what this guy does. Turn one, I'm going to mute that. Okay. Living Ichigo. What do you have for us, my guy? We're going to go ahead and like the video. So he is doing the Super Gogeta event. And uh, if I remember correctly, this guy does have a guaranteed super attack. Yeah, he launched additional super attack when key is eight or more. So, what do we got coming from this guy? <laughs> Let's go into skip. Let's see what we do here. So, what does Frieza get for us here? Frieza gets a 346k attack stat. Wow. 346,000 is quite good for 2016. And then this guy's essentially under 200k. Now, he doesn't have a good amount of his links active, but honestly... He has another super coming, so that's that's good. You put those two and two together, the double super, that's 400k. 400k is pretty good from two supers, guys. I'm, I'm just saying. And this turn's going to be way better because he has more links active. So let's go ahead and skip and let's see. Let's see what he does here. So Broly opens up with 159k. Not really that impressive, but hey, he has another super coming which is another 159k. I mean, added up together, that's roughly 300k plus. But still, that damage is not that bad. Even though the physical full power freeze is harder than him, I think it, was, it wasn't was too shabby, to be honest. <laughs> he was essentially damn near at 200k, and he double supers. But the only problem with Broly I'm, like, seeing is that... Oh, man... Broly, man, it's physical. It's physical and probably him him himself, no? Because uh, this guy, one of the main issues with him is that, A, he's not a big bad bosses unit. And I don't know why they don't give these Broly's big bad bosses. Why? 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 <laughs> it's like Broly chilling in Lemo <laughs> has big bad bosses. Who do you think came from that card that has big bad bosses? You think Chi-Li and Lemo are big bad bosses? But Broly isn't. <laughs> for sure for sure i don't even know how the hell broly chilling lemo got big bad bosses but this guy doesn't but i think that broly during his respective meta that being the leader skill slash dokkan kind of meta did well it's like if he can put up add it up to like a 400k attack stat then he's doing particularly fine but my only real issue with broly is that back then physical it's like physical wasn't really the greatest team like we go back here to the team this team is not looking the craziest to be honest which is why i could definitely see i saw a comment saying that broly was the worst god leader and now i can see why his individual performance could be it could be good but like the rest of his team outside of of course physical full power freeze the rest of his team doesn't really look the craziest 
doesn't really look the craziest. So I can definitely understand that this guy was seen as the worst godly for some people back then and even now. Well, back then he was, I mean, he did well, but now obviously he would do bad because look at him. Pretty easy, eh? <laughs> Physical Super Saiyan Broly. Well, legendary Super Saiyan Broly. Well, yeah, Broly started out with 7,000 attack and launched a guaranteed additional super attack with eight or more key, which was very easy to get. And this guy would just be freely double supered, and he was a physical god leader. So Broly during that meta was doing particularly well, but the team around him wasn't really all the greatest. Now, how does he look when he gets his easy A? So he gets his easy A during the Legend of Goku event meta, and he becomes a four key, 100% stats leader to physical, which is obviously really nice for battle or to help out players. He stacks attack and defense, which is just absolutely immaculate. Starts out with four key, 80% attack and defense when keys eight or more, and launches a guaranteed additional super attack when attacking. So he just double supers outright, and he builds up crit chance from 2% all the way up to 40% crit chance. So he can have up to a 40% chance to crit, guaranteed do additional super attack, and get four key and 80% attack and defense when keys eight or more. So this guy would double super guaranteed each turn he'll do his first super attack then he'll do his second super attack and he's a physical unit so he could do a third super attack if you get lucky so he has the potential to triple super attack and stacks attack and defense three times i mean the first two are clearly guaranteed but the third one is luck but still that's obviously really nice and he has a 40 percent chance to crit when it's fully built up and this will be easy to build up during the legendary goku event meta because guys of course the long event meta and this guy will be able to build up his crit rather quickly because he can do up to three plus super attacks and build up that two percent chance to crit with each attack performs it doesn't say super attack it says each attack performs which is really really nice but the case in point is that this guy did very very well during the legendary goku event meta and this guy being a extreme physical unit going up against the toughest super int boss in the game at the time, that being int UI Goku, meant that this guy can do globs of damage to him. He can do big, big damage if this guy did a triple super attack, because you have all that stacked up attack, he will have a 40% chance to crit from all three of those super attacks, and he would just be an overall killer. So let's see how many 200% leader skills our god leader Broly is on. So, our friend, physical ssj broly only is on one 200 leader skill that being dokkan fest god goku's 200 leader skill to pure saiyans and exploding rage so what is good about this guy pretty easy is the fact that he had a guaranteed double super and he will be able to touch up to 400k damage which was obviously pretty nice and the fact that he is a prepare for battle in saiyan lineage unit is obviously quite nice too because he could work well with some of the hybrid saiyan units that have the saiyan lineage and work well with the saiyan units that have prepare for battle and of course this guy being a god leader obviously being a god leader is very valuable that on top of the fact that he had prepare for battle of saiyan lineage super saiyan some of these basic links was obviously really good and he could do a guaranteed double super essentially now what's good about him post easy is the fact that he worked particularly well during the meta that he came out during that being the legendary goku meta because he stacked he stacked attack and defense had a guaranteed additional super attack so this guy will always be double supering and he can build up crit chance so he had a guaranteed super attack chance inside his well not chance but he had a guaranteed super attack built into his passive he had crit chance build up and he had his own key <laughs> I mean, he already has prepare for battle the same lineage but him having his own key is quite good i mean hey that is really really good and of course he had a nice usable leader skill for dogon battlefield and battle road as you guys already know but broly hey i mean broly with his easy a did quite quite well now the issue with this broly i would say is that i want to specifically talk about his pre-easy a i think the issue with him is just him not having big bad bosses like why does he not have big bad bosses that's that's really it it's like i can't say too much about him for his 2016 pre easy a just the fact that he doesn't have big bad bosses and for his post easy a i don't think i have much to say about this i think his design is quite fine this is a, a good design for the time where he got his easy a <laughs> during legendary coco event but this is good he stacks crit chance guarantee additional super attack this guy's good what more can i say about him but yeah let me take a look at his best linking partners <laughs> yeah. yeah look at his best linking partners <laughs> But yes, um, shout out to Living Ichigo, and of course, I appreciate you guys watching. You guys are the best. I'll catch you guys next video. I love you all. Peace.